We are continuing our Steven Spielberg movie with uh, what many consider to be his best movie of all time. And while I do think this movie is quite fantastic, I don't necessarily think it's his best movie. I do think it might be one of his best in terms of his production design and how well the movie went in terms of box office and critic reception. Um, but I personally don't think it's his best movie. I think that there are better movies that he has made. Um, that's just my opinion. But I'm very excited to talk about this because this is my first time watching it all the way through. I've seen bits and pieces. I've studied parts of it in film class, but I've never actually seen the entire film. And so this is the first time I've watched Saving Private Ryan. Saving Private Ryan was released in 1998. It was written by Robert Rodat and directed by Steven Spielberg, of course. No spoilers. Can't spoil this movie, it's impossible. But the general idea is it is about World War II. It is about a semi-true story of this uh, captain who is on assignment to go save this Private Ryan uh, because he is the last remaining survivor out of four brothers and they're trying to get him out of the war back to his mother so that the entire family isn't lost. And it takes place in World War II, which is a great setting for a movie. I gotta say, I love World War II movies. Um, and it's a good war movie. I mean, it opens, the opening is freaking phenomenal. It is well known for its sound design, which watch the first 20 minutes of this film and you'll understand why. Um, it's intense, it's in your face. It feels like a documentary almost. A lot of the camera movements feel like it's a real camera in there in the mix. Um, and I appreciate that. Um, and I like how it does kind of tone itself down after a little while, because. About 25 minutes in the film, I was like, does this end? Like, does this war segment end? Or does it, like, this is the whole movie? And it did, luckily for, for me. Uh, it did end, and it moved on to actual plot. Because for a while, it was like, yeah, I get it. They're storming the beach. I understand it. I get it. It's so long. And, like, the movie itself isn't very long. It's two and a half hours, which is a long movie. But it's not, it doesn't feel long. It's just the beginning feels like an entire act when it hasn't even started the actual story yet. Um, which is okay, it's just a little frustrating. I do think the performances in this film are particularly fantastic, particularly I think Tom Hanks did the best performance as Captain Miller. Um, Tom Hanks is an extraordinary actor and I can't wait to watch more from him uh, because I do believe he is one of the best actors we have right now. Um, and Matt Damon is Private Ryan. I gotta say, I like Matt Damon a whole lot more than I, I give him credit for. I've reviewed a bunch of movies of his on this channel and each time I'm like, yeah, he's okay. Uh, I just, I feel like he deserves a little more than okay. He's phenomenal. I really do believe that. Um, I think he might be one of the greatest actors of our generation. I really do believe that. And it's not just because of this movie. He has so many movies that I've watched. So I'm like, Daddy, he's so good in this. And he, he was even in my favorite movie of 2021, uh, The Last Duel. And I just feel like we need to give him a little bit more credit. And people don't like him. I get it. People, Some people just don't like him. And that's fine. But I, I do believe he is quite extraordinary. There's this one scene towards the end of the film where he's just talking about his brothers uh, in a bar and one of his brothers is trying to have sex with this girl and he's just talking about it. And honestly, it is such a fun story. And it's just a monologue. It's just him talking, but it feels so real. Part of that is Spielberg and part of that is, of course, Matt Damon. So props to both of them. And again, props to Spielberg for creating a world that feels so real. I will have to say this is not my favorite war film of all time. I do think Hacksaw Ridge is better. That, that may be an unpopular opinion. I just think that it's a better story. This story is very good. It just isn't as interesting. Like, yeah, he's trying to save Private Ryan, but like, I'm kind of with a lot of the war guys. Like, the war guys the entire time are talking to Captain Miller. Like, why are we doing this? We're saving one guy and we're killing off like a bunch of people just to try to save this one guy. And I'm like, yeah, I get that it's supposed to feel uplifting, but to me, I'm like, I'm with them a little bit, at least a little bit, at least a little bit. I'm like, you know what? Maybe they should have just let it go. <laughs> like, maybe we didn't need to do this. Um, but the final battle was super cool. The beginning was super cool. I liked the parts that were set in the in the in the in the future. Thought they were very well done. And as a movie as a whole, I do think this movie is spectacular. I just don't think it's the best Spielberg film, and I don't think it's the best war film. Um, but I look forward to rewatching this movie, particularly. I think it's a very, I think it's gonna be extremely good on, on a rewatch. Um, I'm excited to revisit the performances. I just, I, I honestly, after watching this film, I wanted to restart it immediately. That's how good it is. It is very good. Um, but there are issues that I have with it that mainly are me problems, and I understand that, but it's just the truth. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, give Saving Private Ryan an A minus. 
Have you guys seen Saving Private Ryan? Let me, Ryan, <laughs> let me in the comments down below what you guys thought about it. I think it's streaming somewhere. I don't know where. Um, I think it might be if Paramount Plus, maybe? Is it a Paramount film? I, I think it's a Paramount film. But anyway, uh, I have it on, di on, on disc, so I don't know where you can find it. But I'm sure you can online. I'm sure it's somewhere. Um, so let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. And I just want to thank you guys once again. Thank you so much for watching these videos. I really appreciate all of you. Um, consider subscribing if you like what you see. It helps me out a whole lot. Um, and consider liking the video, sharing with your friends. And as always, keep watching movies and television. Stay educated, and I'll see you guys in the next video.